So in a more general sense with, with the chemical grouting industry, what do you, what do you think? And I may be putting you on the spot here a little bit, um, but what do you, what do you think is, is lacking or what could be improved in the industry? Do you have, do you have any opinions on that? Maybe from a, a product standpoint, maybe from, um, you know, maybe from a, a service standpoint, from manufacturer side, do you, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, you know, I, I've had a, a pretty unique entry into this industry because I'm I'm from totally outside of the industry. Even though this is a family business, I actually spent the first ten plus years of my career as a, a manufacturer rep in a fire protect in the fire protection space. Um, so I, I I'm coming at this industry as a as a very different set of eyes. Um, you know, I was actually engineer in uh, civil engineering and I would I would definitely say that it's a niche industry in a lot of ways um, which prevents its uh, usage I think because it's I don't think it's it's well taught um, and on an educational level and I don't think the awareness is very high um, amongst a lot of uh, engineering uh, Arms as well, uh, because it's it's a process that is is unique in a lot of ways, but it's not you know revolutionary. Um, and I think while it's one tool in the tool belt, we, as we discussed, I think having that in, in an engineer's hands is very important because um, a lot of times solutions that are um, kind of tried more often or um, you know, may have a higher success rate on the positive side are just cost prohibitive. And, you know, the building is not set up to be able to do that kind of stuff post construction. Um, and where chemical grouting really just, uh, you know, is, is the best, most cost effective, high results solution for, um, for that particular application. Um, so I would definitely say that on a commercial level, that the, the grouting process needs to, to have a little bit higher expansion in terms of um, in, in educational areas to make sure that kids coming out of schools and going in for their PEs and trying to get um, you know their feet under them and, and provide solutions to their clients know that this is a, is a proper solution that is tried and true and is very successful. Um, in my world where it's a lot of residential, um, that's half of what my job is on a day-to-day -day conversation with the customer is explaining what we're doing because it's, it's a lot of black magic in their eyes because it's, it's something totally different. They were looking for the, uh, the black spray in the can that uh, you used to spray in the bottom of your screen door boat there um, off the shelf right. uh, as, as a solution. And they're trying to figure out why it didn't work. Um, and, and really, so we're trying to just educate them a little bit as well. But um, you know, one, we've had projects in the past where the, they've spent a tremendous amount of time on the specifications uh, and, the, and the procedures on how to address um, an issue. Uh, we had a project at a, at a wastewater treatment plant where it's, you know, 24 inch wall, thick walls with rebar everywhere, you know, tall. And I think I forget how tall they were, but they were tall. Um, and, you know, and, and they're just trying to, there's not a lot of experience. There's not a lot of, there wasn't a lot of manufacturer you know, help in terms of how to really identify the process to, to, uh, to do this successfully. And so when we get in there and, and we look at the specifications, it's, you know, it's, it's cobbled together by somebody who has never seen this process in, in the real world. And, um, you know, it was uh, essentially set up for failure in a lot of ways because the, the process was wrong for this particular application. And, um, trying to go through change orders of, of on the process was, was a very difficult situation just because we knew as a contractor doing it for as long as we have that um, the amount of time and effort that they were going to be focused on their particular process was going to be set up incorrectly um, and set up for failure, mostly because, again, they had a set of um, you know, people on this thing who have read about it and were very, you know, uh, unaware of you know the infield techniques that are required to be successful in it and really just tried to be by the book on it um, without any sort of experience so I, I think that the industry would would be a huge you know there'd be a huge benefit across the board in my eyes um, to really start at the educational level um, you know civil engineering programs construction management programs um, to really focus uh, on that and I think you know manufacturers have some responsibility as well as uh, you know 
uh, contractors as well to kind of, you know, give a two prong approach so that people are educated both on the, uh, the, the technology of itself and the actual application and how it gets done. Couldn't agree more. 